farms are great for aggressive strategies because they allow you to all out at pretty much any point in time and send your opponent in a huge rush that is going to be very difficult to defend. But there are a couple things that you need to understand in order to play farms effectively. The first and most important rule is that in general, you want to reduce the cost of your own defense as much as possible. Every dollar that you can put into farms instead of defense is going to scale throughout the rounds and allow you to send an even bigger, more challenging rush later on. In line with this, both boosts and lives are just another resource that you can use while playing farms to try and save money. So if you are going to leak to eco or a rush, instead of buying a tower upgrade, if it's possible to boost or just even leak a small amount of lives that isn't going to put you at risk of losing the game, if you are able to gain a significant amount of cash through that early on, that is going to allow you to get significantly more farms and scale your money even more so that later on in the game, uh, whenever you have the opportunity to, you will have an even bigger amount of money at your disposal to rush your opponent. You generally want to send spaced eco while using farms because this will give you as much income as possible per the money that you are spending. The rest of that money that you don't spend can just go right back into farms that again will continue to snowball income throughout the game. So generally, this means you want to send spaced blues, greens, yellows, and pinks. And in some cases, you may also want to send spaced whites, blacks, zebras, or leads. Whites and zebras and leads and all that are a little bit less cost effective, but the percentage of extra income per second they give you is much higher than the extra cost. If the game is going to be longer, this can end up being very worth it. And also, they can require some defense from your opponent that they will be forced to buy. With the spare cash that you have while setting this eco, you will want to get a farm and then upgrade it to 200 before getting other farms. From there, you usually want three or four of these, which then you will upgrade them one by one into a 320, and then sell those once you have enough cash to get a 420. Once you have the 420, you can just place another farm down and then go through the same process to get it to another beer off as well. Right before a rush, uh, if you have a set round that you know is going to be very threatening in advance, for example, round 22, what you can try and do is place down a 040 to get the IMF loan, and then you sell your BRFs. You can then use the ability to go into debt and then sell the IMF to get an extra 30,000 on top of the other farms for a little bit less that you will be able to send in addition. Because you are limited to two towers plus the farm with a farm strategy, and because you want to save as much money as possible to snowball your income, farms tend to be very early game focused strategies. So keep in mind that you want to end the game as early as possible if there is a good opportunity. What this also means is that usually you want to be watching your opponent and thinking about you know what rounds are coming up that they may struggle with powers that they have and if they don't get a particular upgrade that would be good against something be prepared to send a rush that is going to be very challenging for them to defend you can also you know look for things like if they have been equaling very hard if it's mid game but they are sending grouped blacks or group pinks instead of group yellows they probably have a little bit less money on hand or something like around 17, around 18 mobs. And so if you are prepared for this and you're watching your opponent, then you may know that they don't have that much money and you can potentially go for a bigger rush at that point. The better you get at finding opportunities that your opponent cannot easily defend and taking advantage of, the higher your win rate will continue to get with farms.